Can you hear me? Okay, to answer your question. Yeah, I know I was in mute. I was just letting things marinate. I was uh, listen, looking at something, but Aaron, yes, it is true. I have seven e-commerce stores, yes. They're, with e-commerce stores, it's not hard creating one, man. To be honest, anybody that's telling you that they can build you a store and they'll charge you $1,000 and then you're getting that because uh, you can get cheap labor. I, I tell all my consultants to utilize cheap labor. And the products that I am selling, I am selling drones, 3D printers, hair extensions, cellular iPhones. I'm selling 7s. I'm selling 7 Pluses, Xs, and I'm getting the 12s on December. And people that take my – people that, that book a consultation get all that access specifically when it comes to my suppliers and how to be able to use some loopholes. Uh, salute the flocks as well. You know, I help everybody, and everybody has my, my phone number on access. So they have 24-7 access to me. Any updates, they pretty much get updated by me. So uh, – and the other three – products that I do sell, drawstring bras, leggings, and waist trainers as well. Those things is always going to sell on repeat. That's why I'm trying to tell other dudes to get involved in it when it comes to those specific niches. But this is a open panel. and salute to everybody. If, to all the people that, that feel the interest and need and also uh, any type of uh, commentary, you can be able to click the link. The link is in the chat. But when it comes to those three products, I have low ticket and high ticket products. Um, I'm making sure that dudes at least get in the iPhone business because with iPhones, because the iPhones is uh, is pretty much guaranteed due to the fact that it's a status symbol. People are always going to be jumping on it. Well, salute to you, uh, Fox. Salute to you. But um, I'm trying to tell dudes to be able to get involved when it comes to these products, man. These these products is always going to be evergreen due to the fact that it's the trend that still keep on continuing. Um, I always look at data analytics and data research. You know, I can't be able to run with old contact and old information. Everything has to be updated when it comes to data research and specific numbers and figuring out what's going on, who is who, what is what. But um, anybody that wants to hop on, the link is in the chat. Aaron, that's because I have cheap labor. I, I tell people, I don't know, I have to keep on repeating myself when it comes to this. I tell people, utilize $4 an hour talent, $6 an hour talent, and that's how I manage it. It's pretty much cheap labor being utilized. It's not uh, me doing it all by myself. Like, I recommend dudes to be able to understand management or just have a, a use my checklist when they do book a consultation on how to manage these people. But I usually tell people um, to do one by one. As soon as you get one going, like I had a, a consultant, William, on my last stream, and he pretty much got sales. And he said out of his own mouth that he got sales off of my method and pretty much my checklist. So I'm pretty much uh, trying to figure out where's dude speed when it comes to running stuff. I manage all seven due to the fact that I had two that went well, and I just pretty much leverage the net profit and the more cheap labor and keep things going like that, giving checklists, benchmarks, standards. When it comes to understanding protocols, they understand the KPIs that affects my store specifically. So it's pretty much just using management and also using cheap labor and leverage the two because people are utilizing it on both sides. So um, the link is in the chat. Anybody wants to hop on, they feel free to hop on. Feel free to hop on. This is an open panel. To all the people that's clicking in, salute to everybody that, that's uh, taking the time out to understand some business or talking to business 
or getting an understanding of what's the next niche. Cause I'm, I'm telling people mostly on my consultant that's hopping on now is to hop on the iPhone niche due to the fact that the 12 is coming that already rolled out December. That's where my supplier is going to be put on. So when my supplier is on, all my consultants is on, all my consultants is on due to the fact that, you know, everything is streamlined. Uh, Dudes need to get their LLCs up and keep their LLCs current. And also a business checking account also has its perks as well. When you want to be able to minimize any tax situations or scenarios. But for anybody that wants to come on, feel free to come on. But um, when it comes to iPhone niches, that shit is pretty much guaranteed money. That shit is really guaranteed money, especially on OfferUp, LetGo, Facebook Marketplace. And uh, today I'm getting some inventory. So I might do a stream later on and I'll show y'all the inventory that I bought and how much the price that I got it for and how much that I'm going to potentially and actually resell it for and how much potentially you can resell it for as well. You know, I check the EMI numbers and everything. I make everything all process and well fine tuned and see salute to you salute to you nc but um everything is pretty much focusing on profit margins right now i'm getting my inventory from fedex um so it's probably going to be around five six that i'm getting my uh, package be able to unwrap it take some pictures resell but yeah, man, that's why I tell people when it comes to my my consultations, man, it's pretty much supplier research, man. You got to uh, study the supply and demand. We get the, the simple method of buy low, sell high. It's just finding the supplier. It's just finding that component to be able to plug in and to keep things rocking and rolling when it comes to specific uh, priorities. So it, it's about reinvesting the money as well into more talent that's why people that have all these operations they're scaling up their labor as well as scaling up their marketing and how much the operation costs production costs costs so it's trying to spread wide correctly and not spread yourself thin when you're going wide so um the link is in the chat anybody wants to hop on real quick brief Anybody wants to hop on real quick brief? So uh, it's pretty much preparing uh, dudes for uh, quarter four. Uh, Cyber uh, Cyber Mondays next week. Um, Black Friday, is, I believe this week as well. So uh, people just need to gear up and stock up on some supplies. Uh, for all the people that wants to book a consultation, my email is bhmdf25 at gmail.com. And I'll repeat it again, bhmdf25 at gmail.com for any consultations involving a business and also e-commerce and as well as iPhones and iPhone reselling. Because I'm going to have a stream later on and I'm going to show my inventory so people can see I get it by one by one, resell it, and I can be able to get bulk orders as well and be able to have it at wholesale prices, and my consultants do it as well. So I'm just directing people to the supplier, understanding the traffic, email marketing, um, specific management um, tools that needed, uh, you know, management when it comes to projects getting handled and tasks getting dealt with and leveraging other people time that's only how i can be able to have seven websites and stores due to the fact that i have cheap labor being utilized and i just leverage all their labor their talent expertise and internal management skills as well due to the fact that i'm not necessarily micromanaging it's like an even balance of macro and micro the first two days, I might do macro, but the rest of the week is pretty much flawless through the fact that I have a checklist, uh, Google Docs, that I have people as well, my cons uh, consultations, 
to be able to utilize, make sure everything is on point on a step-by-step -step basis and things can be more organized so you can be able to recite certain things when needed and also to be able to delineate from information because I don't necessarily believe in the aspect of people remembering what they was told as in sheer intelligence. I think that's pretty much the a strong ability to recall, but if you can't delineate and decipher anything, you get caught up due to the fact that there's holes that you're not looking into. There's specific angles that you're not even taking account for. So when it comes to the information given, always do your uh, support research as well, but also take the step in pulling the trigger on creating something and rolling something out. Because with the e-commerce stores, it's beautiful, but the iPhone reselling business is something that's passive or actively passive because you're actively getting out there and making the sales, but it's passive due to the fact that people are always going to need iPhones. So I sell the 6s, 6 pluses, uh, 7 uh, pluses, and uh, also the lowest then I can get them for is around $85 each. We sell it for 200 and keep it moving. So um, when it, when it comes to the resale business, this is opportunities that people are taking advantage of. And I want to know if anybody's involved or trying to get involved when it comes to shoes as well. Shoe reselling, clothes reselling, because people are making a killing off of the Goodwill store and finding something like uh, uh, the Goodwill store in high price areas. Like, say, if people are in um, the East Coast, they would go to uh, somewhere near Manhattan. If you're in the West Coast, somewhere near Beverly Hills, and find something and scalp, scalp and scan. Because uh, reselling opportunities, people are making a killing off of finding some Tommy Hilfiger stuff that's still clean looking and reselling that as well. I wish I was on Ramil's uh, uh, live stream yesterday on uh, bus side businesses, but. When it comes to side business that, that's passive, I would have to say iPhone flipping, iPhone flipping, um, shoe reselling, people are getting 12s, uh, Jordan 12s, no, Jordan 11s, win like 96s, um, the Georgetown, uh, the Allen Iverson Georgetown uh, Jordans. Uh, they, they're getting a whole bunch of collectibles and reselling that as well. People that are toy fanatics that have like classic 80s toys, they're reselling and flipping it as well. Car flipping, a lot of my cons, uh, consultants, they, they're in car dealerships and they do car flips as well. That's another specific niche that's a good uh, bread and butter. But when it, when it comes to aspects of business, dudes need to just get just understand the process of where is my supplier? How can I be able to get it? How can I be able to resell? How can I be able to flip and maneuver? Because really, this this is complex, but it's it doesn't have to be extremely complicated where you don't even try to figure it out and get your feet wet. Because man, there's people 15 years old making a killing on phone flips, off of phone repairs. Anybody that y'all know that is in the repair business, y'all need to be able to work a deal with them to figure out what's the connection and how to link that up. So when it comes to aspects of the general business concepts, people just need to be locked in and focused. Just locked in and focused and tune everything the fuck out. Because man, oh man, the distractions is there in your face, clear as obvious as day. Just tune everything out. If you have to tune certain people out, do that as well. Because they ain't going to help you. It's definitely not going to help you on the aspects of, of general business concept. That's why people that focus on understanding of service and goods, they're always going to be on top. But that's my email for anybody that wants to book a consultation. Man, this is open panel, Brad. This, this is funny. The link is in the chat, y'all. If nobody don't come up, man, I'm about to get ready. Uh, get ready to study something. Because, man, I thought uh, at least one person would have just hopped on. But uh, but when it comes to people that's probably listening on the playback, all my truckers and out there, uh, just understand, man, if, if you're on the road all the time, 
you can still leverage the fact that contractors make good consistent money just hire somebody to be able to work on it when you're on the road doing fleets a package um, doing certain type of um, type of freights you got to make sure that you're you're leveraging somebody else's time expertise and capabilities and know-how to make sure you, you're always going to have yourself leveling up on top because really all, all all this shit is is pretty much having enough set asides in order to be able to capitalize of somebody's labor in global areas man because globally everything is pretty much on on table to be utilized um you can get them at four dollars an hour five dollars an hour and at its highest probably six dollars an hour um everything is pretty much contract work so you don't even have to uh, do all the unnecessary work you pretty much have everything negotiated at a either fixed price which a lot, fixed price saves you money when it comes to upwork but um just utilize all that talent man people people need to start to get on the money on the money train when it comes to this shit because too many people are just letting money sit on the table and complain about it later because they didn't capitalize on it instead of capitalizing on it when you had the chance or you had somebody with the personal know-how like me to be able to at least walk with you on developing a plan that's sustainable doing the fact of e-commerce and also just reselling in general because i got people that come on the panel that gives absolute game when it comes to business aspects mot uh ruffian um even uh, uh, even Mr. Research as well. So it's about understanding that, man, people are studying, people are out hustling you. When people are pretty much fucking off time, getting upset, mad about something, uh, worried and caught up, that's when somebody is literally taking their time and maximizing to all its capability. Cause they know that ain't nobody's gonna save them and nobody really gonna have any compassion. To be honest, ain't nobody gonna look at you crazy if you want compassion. So it, people are just making simple moves when it comes to diversifying their time, diversifying their money, their team set up, their team building aspects, and how to be able to vet certain people when it comes to uh, putting them on the roster and having good negotiation skills being utilized and also studying good tactics and methods on a non-biased type way. So I don't know, man, when it, when it comes to people that want it, they're going to get it. They're going to utilize it. And that's when they become the villain because they actually utilized it. They actually maneuvered on something and actually pulled the trigger on something while everybody else that pretty much tell you it ain't going to work. They're going to be the ones that scream and victim. Due to the fact that you pretty much bought either their real estate, uh, bought their business out, or just pretty much made the sales the ability to, to take advantage of their 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 family's property, man. Because people are people in California is getting straight pushed out by Chinese, no matter what race you are. They are buying it up and saying, "This is mine. What are you going to do about it? We bought the deed. Can't do nothing about it." And just keep on moving forward. That's why, you know, people want the world what they want it to be and not what it is. People want the world what it wanted to be, what they want it to be instead of what it is. And that's how people get caught the fuck up when it comes to shit uh, comes all of a sudden out of, out of nowhere. Where a monkey wrench gets thrown out and they can't be able to either move quicker or take advantage of opportunities more faster. So, you know, it's up, to, it's up to people to take advantage and get understanding of the research and information. That's why I found it funny when, when Ice Cube went, went to the uh, Cocktails with Queens and pretty much had, uh, ha had to become really diligent when it comes to figuring out what is his message, what is his plan, and how it's going to be rolled out. You know, 
they was definitely the uninformed ones. Pretty much just babbling, babbling and cackling, and not even really trying to even be able to move the needle forward. So, when it, I don't know, man. A lot of people would just argue down for an eternity on shit and just be so hell bent <laughs> that you just gotta move forward and just keep on doing what you're doing and keep being the hawk that you are. And having that mindset, well, I'm just gonna win regardless if people hate it or like it love it or hate it, believe in me or not, you just got to keep moving forward. Because to be honest, you're nobody's favorite. Even people that say that um, that, that they like you, you take that as pretty much uh, pimping being played. Yeah, nah, I don't know. Because compliments, I don't necessarily take compliments well because I know that it, it's it's on some fake shit. It's on some social, social being... Uh, Okay, so Sal took advantage. See, here's a consultant that took advantage. Okay, so you got on the phone with GSM Exchange. Sal, ref referrals from you. Okay, man, uh, Sal, uh, when you contact your supplier, man, always look on product uh, product testing. Does it have a grading point system when it comes to the phones? EMI clean. Check the EMI and the ESN number. You can go on emilookup.com, Sal, and that's to anybody that's listening. But yeah, so um, good shit, man. Uh, so I'll keep looking for suppliers, man. You got to do some price uh, comparisons as well. You got to compare the prices. But um, yeah, that's pretty much a supplier that I, I put them on game with. Uh, so I got another supplier with you uh, for you as well. I got two more suppliers for you. And to anybody else that's still tuning in with me, I got suppliers ready. Uh, so uh, when you got the chance, man, contact me again we can be able to chop it up about some more suppliers but see this is a person that's pulling the trigger sal is a warrior he's a hawk he managed to pull the trigger when it comes to something that's new something that he's familiar with but still new at the same time um, when it comes to aspects of business it's just being a merchant understanding and reselling buy low sell high because really that's what they're doing even on complex situations. You know, people buy junk businesses and, and get a margin out of it. People sell junk bonds, get a margin out of it. All right, for sure, so I'll salute to you, man. I'll salute to you. Because really, you know, people are just finding margins. Uh, people see opportunity in everything through the fact that they're finding margins and they're finding a wedge in something specific because really buy low sell high it doesn't matter if it's failing or still operating it's, money can be made money can be made equity can be taken out and scaled up into something bigger or larger people that understand how the financial system and markets go they pretty much are going to be the ruling class the people that's understanding and studying it right now they're going to be the ones in the future that will be the ruling class but for anybody that wants to be able to donate my cash app is in the chat but it's just about dudes being more motivated to be able to find a way no matter if it's going to me or going to somebody that they respect and know inside their area and people need to pull the trigger, man, because people ain't going to be, uh, people now isn't even going to give you sympathy. <laughs> so, you know, if you believe in the, 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 the notion of things just gets worse, not necessarily better, then just imagine no sympathy times two. Just imagine that uh, people just say, man, go fuck yourself. I don't give a fuck. And pretty much just walk off <laughs> like any shit happened. Like you ain't getting sympathy out of people, man. Instead of sympathy, just find strategy. That, that's really what it said. Instead of sympathy, just find strategy, man. Just power through on certain things, man. Have the confidence in yourself to be able to power through it. No matter if people like you or not. No matter if people in your family, inner circle, say that's stupid or they don't understand. Just keep on moving because at the end of the day, you buy their house. And pretty much uh, rent it out and, and make cash flow on it, regardless if you're friends or family or not still. Because, man, people are hawks. People are taking advantage. And people, when it comes to business, can be heartless when, it, when it's a fact of a mindset of 
I have a bottom line. I need to reach X amount of number. And I have to just keep on moving forward no matter who hates it. Because shit, man, people won't be wanting confirmation from people that they're not going to get conf- no types of satisfaction because, you know, you can't please everybody. But you can make money off of most everybody. Sell multiple products that's diverse and become that merchant. Make money and just keep on going. Just keep on going. Keep on trucking. Keep on pushing forward. Keep on pushing forward, man. Because um, at the end of the day, man, you're nobody's favorite. <laughs> Even people that say, I got love for you, man. It, 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 Especially when you're dealing with people that you know that are completely shady and cannot be trusted at any cost when they say, I got love for you. Or, or, or we cool, we bros. Or, or that's, that's my fam. Shit, you know, specific words like that. You know, don't get me wrong, you do have true friends, but when it comes to something that they don't like, they're going to turn. And they're going to forget about all the shit that they said previously, man. I had to had, have to learn this on an everyday basis when it comes to arguments and not being on the right position as they are or a slightly different position that, than they are when it comes to aspects of money and how e-commerce or how just general commerce in general. Because, man, motherfuckers is complete zombies. I'm starting to re- realize that when it comes to... Uh, People actually trying to create thoughts and opinions for themselves. A lot of people need somebody to lead them into uh, into prosperity instead of getting assistance to do it on your own. Because really, I'm about helping and creating assistance to people. I'm, I'm there to really give people the motivation. A lot of people don't even have the daily motivation to be able to get it out and get it. And you can tell by the way how low self-esteem they sound when it comes to aspects of competition or anything that involves of you getting out there and you pretty much have to hunt to be able to get it. But, um, you know, I just want people to be more strong-willed. Way more strong. I just want people to be more strong-willed. People, men and women, both, just to have the ability to be able to just keep on moving forward pushing through being hell being being about your money at first for one thing because people be having these grandiose ideas not even trying to get the understanding of how do i get the cash supply how do i create a business or how do i become a merchant reseller flipper hustler whatever the term and lingo that you like to use to be able to keep it moving forward due to the fact of getting shit done a lot of people have these grandiose ideas when it comes to political shit that don't even have the money to lobby for it or people uh, pretty much say, well, we can't get that done. Well, that's because we ain't taking the strategy route. You're pretty much playing checkers instead of playing chess. And um, it, it's sad, man, because a lot of people will pull you down to their uh, low self-esteem or try to pull you down. That's why you got to power through shit. That's why the aspects of powering through and what Ramil always talks about is not giving a fuck when it comes to a lot of uh, things and scenarios. It's not giving a fuck. That's why I rock with Ramil. Because me and Ramil do not agree on everything. Uh, there's points that Ramil don't agree with me on. There's points that I don't necessarily agree with Ramil on, but we both understand the aspects of pushing through, powering through, and just having a dominant mentality when it comes to shit. Never be a damn sheep when it comes to uh, people's ideologies and don't just fall in line. Always ask the questions. Ask the questions. Look at three sides of the argument. Their side, your side, and the truth. And figure out, does it overlap or is there inconsistencies? Are there holes blocking it? Is there anything that's infecting, affecting you? So, you know, dudes just need to get to the money. Um, women are actually getting to the money when it comes to shit. It's just dudes need to just keep on catching up. Catching up and get to the point. Yeah, so, you know, people that, that focus on that, yeah, you definitely got to tune that out, Sal. 
You definitely gotta tune that bullshit out. That that ain't getting no, you no money. <laughs> Especially if you're not a blogger talking about that specific situation. It's it's not even beneficial. It's not even it's not even financially worth your time. It's definitely not even financially worth your time. It's they're talking about what a girl is doing on a day to day basis and trying to uh, keep up with the Jones Joneses as well. Yeah, that don't that don't even make that don't even make logical sense, bruh, to be honest. Yo man, for donations, man. Uh, my cash app is in the chat for anybody that uh, f- feels the need of supporting content creators. My cash app is in the chat. So, you know, when it comes to as- that aspect, uh, so you-, you definitely just gotta mute everybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, you 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 just gotta tune people out when it comes to that aspect. Cause that that shit is insane. If you focus on that on a twenty four hour basis, but you know, you know, um, that's why you just gotta uh, have your mindset strong, man. Anything that sounds any form of weakness or any type of victimhood, man, turn that shit off. <laughs> Turn that shit. Leave the fucking room immediately. Eat. As a matter of fact, leave that room immediately. Cause that that shit doesn't benefit no fucking body. You know. Uh, nah. Like, huh? What? You, you, you. I don't know, man. They they focus on what whatever happened to old girl. They need to be focused on whatever happened to my bank account. What 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 the hell ever happened happened to my to my taxes? What what the hell happened to what I'm gonna do next? Like a lot of people focus on that shit and consuming all this this damn nonsense TV instead of actually reading a fucking book on some money. This is why I am not. A coddling type of person, man. Because when people focus on what what Sal mentioned that his people should be doing, these be the first ones crying about a catastrophe happening. That's why I just shut the fuck up. I don't really talk too much about really my views when it comes to shit like that. Because I know that motherfuckers gonna get caught up on the surface a level bullshit and get caught up with the indoctrination process and the repeating cycle, like. Really, they get caught up in the repeating cycle, and you know, you say it long enough, and multiple, more and more and more, the shit they try to evolve that is in in the truth, man. And that's and that's definitely not how the truth works, man. But yeah, Sal, man, just power and push through, Sal. Just put push push that away. Push that away specifically. Cause shit, that shit ain't gonna benefit what your bottom line is. Sal, you're trying to do big things. You're trying to make a state-to-state transition, Sal. So you gotta you gotta put them in a special column. You're gonna have to put them in a special bin. So, uh, so you know, cause if they're not blogging, whatever Kim Kardashian do is pretty much Useless. Useless. If you're not making no money off of being a blogger, then I don't see that uh, specifically useful on anything, man. But yo, this is an open panel, man. The link is in the chat. If nobody don't come up in 15 minutes, I'm gonna make me something to eat. Or make me something to eat. Because, um, it's still morning in in the West Coast, so
Because, man, people, people be wanting you to be worried about the shit that they worried about. <laughs> it's like, nah, bro, that's not how it goes, man. That's, that's your fear, not mine. All that projection shit, you can go get a dog and mold him or get your child to mold them on that. You know. Mm. And this is why most people aren't aren't necessarily effective when getting shit done due to the fact that the shit that they be worrying about beyond some shit like motherfucker, how did that affect you? How, how the fuck does that affect you? You know, and, that, and that's pretty much why I gotta just tune everybody out and just keep shit to myself because this saved the argument. Saved the argument because, you know, Something that, that I notice when it comes to society now, people be trying to bully you into positions. Even though it's clear as day that you, you ain't rocking with it and that's not how you feel about it. You know, a lot of people are zealots. And to people that's still listening with me, man, just remember a lot of people are fucking zealots. Zealots, charlatans, political hacks, or just a complete shill. Just complete mental shill when it comes to aspects of they say something but you can't question it, or it doesn't logically add up when it comes to a macro sense. Like people want literally want rich people to give all their resources and money to them instead of actually filling the doing the research or just trying to be mentors with these people and to figure out how to get to the money. You know, a lot of people will, will cut their heads off and think there's money in the pit, not knowing that the money's all in the bank and they ain't got even access to the bank. So they literally killed somebody off without even getting the information. So, you know, you know this this put them in, in the totem pole as dumb, in, in the dumb, dunce category. Because ain't no way in hell that logically makes sense. Plus, a lot of rich people don't even have liquidity to be able to give out money. Um, I remember Peter Schiff, and I don't even necessarily like Peter Schiff. Peter Schiff is a... Uh, I'm just going to keep it to myself. But Peter Schiff had this Occupy Wall Street uh, shit. And, you know, the brother... And I, I, I pretty much call it ignorance out of the brother. He pretty much say that, you know, we need to get some money out of your pockets. You're richer than me. You have it in cash. And, you know, Peter Schiff said that he couldn't be able to liquidate his shit. To be honest, he said to the brother that you probably have more cash on hand than I do. In a way, he actually got a point through the fact that, you know, Peter Schiff owns real estate and has uh, certain type of securities that's locked away for years. And you see, you know, a lot of a lot of the stuff that uh, propaganda that gets propagated is they rely on you not doing the research and you just taking a word face value. Because Peter Schiff is a multi-millionaire. He has owned real estate and he has owned stocks. But, you know, him liquidating everything makes a tax um, makes a taxable event. So he'll be dude with a tax bill due to the fact that he liquidates money in order to give to X amount of per people. So, you know, a lot of people, when it comes to aspects of financial shit, they don't, they don't know. They, they don't know. They go off assumptions, projections, and just the fact that it's a number. Because, you know, a lot of people that's on the Forbes list, you know, if somebody's a billionaire, He's not a liquid billionaire. He's more likely a paper asset billionaire where he has assets. He may have consistent cash flows that comes to his bank account, but that's in the business bank account instead of his personal shit. So, I don't know, man. Financial literacy is needed for a lot of people. A lot of people enslave themselves due to the fact that they lack financial literacy. Um, you know, if people have car loans, the car loan bubble is going to pop eventually. 
um, you know, a lot of the housing crisis, they say that's around the corner, but we'll see. Because assets and properties in LA is still rising. And they're going to keep on rising too. So people that believe in that aspect and just sitting on the sidelines, those are going to be the ones that uh, get priced out due to the fact that they do have cash aside, but they say they're waiting for a crash. And even if the shit do crash, who would say that would, the assets would lose 60%? They'd probably dip to 30% and still keep on rising when people that was relying on the dip on 60% just completely missed the opportunity to enter in an asset or a market or a security of sorts. See, that uh, that's why financial literacy and economics should be the first thing people research. But, you know, um, the way how the school system is set up, they ain't teaching that. They ain't even trying to teach math no more in school. So, <sighs> yo. Man, this is a open panel because link is in the chat, man. Somebody hop on. I'm literally about to get me something to eat. I am literally about to get me something to eat. Get me something to eat and I'll do a stream later on. Yes, oh man, people. Okay, so they got cheap tech inside out break after 120,000 miles. Shit, that's a lot of miles in general. That is a lot of damn miles in general. Yeah, man, it's it's all similar, man. Dry, that dry desert heat. <laughs> yeah, man, they they all the same. You know that dry desert heat. Um, you know Nevada don't have the earthquake situation like California does, but everything's all dry heat. Um, you know Nevada. You know people always say Nevada has this weird, weird type of euphoria. That's I think that's because of, um, I think that's because of outer space activity is actually prevalent there. That's why I think people will be having that eerie feeling. But yeah, man. But the weather, yeah, you know, weather is all similar. Weather is all similar. So you from the East Coast, man? So you probably used to all that snow and shit. And y'all get like three months of uh, some summertime action. Y'all get back and bundle up in the house again. You know, uh, to each his own. <laughs> but man, I don't do well in the cold. I do not do well in the cold, man. I am not an inclement weather type person, man. I do not necessarily like rain. Due to the fact I can't do shit, but you know. Oh, Texas is humid, so. Yeah, yeah, so, you know, Texas is, is humid. You know, anything uh, in that area is pretty, you're going you gonna to feel the humidity. You know, so you should be used to it, man. Have you, have you been to Florida, man? Florida's humid as well. Yeah, folks, I'm going to cut this stream short. I'm going to cut this stream short, y'all. So, for anybody that wants to hit me up on consultations, this is my email. bhmdf25 at gmail.com. For anybody that wants to be able to support the channel, dollar sign, Mr. Perfect 23 g And I'm going to create a stream later on. 
when I get my inventory and I pretty much show what's going on. But salute, peace, and love to everybody. Anybody that wants to get in contact with me, I pretty much gave you all my email. Um, yeah, I pretty much gave everybody my email. Good clip, good clip in the view. Might see you in Phoenix. That is funny. <laughs> Phoenix in Nevada. I hate human. Yeah, man, that's, you know. Yeah, man, because, yeah, Texas is human, man. Anybody. Any, yeah, any, yeah. Because yeah. not, you, you got dry heat there as well. But compared to Nevada and California, man, uh, no, nah, man, you're going to have that. You got that humidity shit. But, um, suit everybody. I'm out of here.